This screencast is on marginal thinking. Marginal analysis is a major feature of the economic perspective. In this screencast, we are going to define marginal. We're going to understand how marginal benefit and marginal cost are used in marginal analysis. And then we'll also apply how rational people think at the margin. When we're talking about marginal thinking, you'll hear a lot this phrase, thinking at the margin. And really what this means is the analysis that goes into decision making. It's when you decide how much more or less you're going to utilize of something. That's thinking at the margin. So when we take a look here and think about marginal analysis, first off, marginal, the definition for it is additional unit of. This is definitely a vocab word that I would know. Um, you're going to need to know it throughout the course. And so make sure that you're writing this one down and you're really trying to understand what it's about. Um, this here is one of the first graphs that we're looking at for this class. Um, and some of the things to look at. The vertical axis is labeled here with a P for price. And the horizontal axis is labeled a Q for quantity. Um, that's going to be pretty standard throughout. Uh, we might use dollars per unit, but otherwise we're going to go with these same labels here. Um, we have two curves here. We have the marginal benefit curve, which is downward sloping, and you have the marginal cost curve, which is upward sloping. When we talk about marginal benefit, we're talking about the additional benefit that's received from consuming or utilizing one additional unit. So again, the additional unit is giving this additional benefit. And you can see here, as you consume one more unit, the additional benefit is going down. Marginal cost, on the other hand, is the additional cost from consuming or utilizing one additional unit. And in this case here, you can see the marginal cost is increasing as output is going up. You have here what is at Q1 the socially optimal amount. Um, a term that will be used later and throughout is allocative efficiency, and it's really important. And what you'll see here is that allocative efficiency will have many different formulas, but the first one that we're looking at is marginal benefit equals marginal cost. And this is the optimal amount where you have that marginal benefit equaling the marginal cost. Um, if you were at a quantity prior to Q1, what that would mean is that the marginal benefit is greater than the marginal cost. And a person should always consume more of a good as long as the additional benefit is greater than the additional cost. So when we're looking here at rational people thinking at the margin, the first person that pops into my head is a mom or whoever is buying groceries. They're one of the most rational people that I know because they're constantly making those decisions about what they're going to buy with the money that they have. And so they're weighing the marginal benefit the additional benefit from purchasing one more item at the store versus the additional cost. And so when we're talking about marginal, we're talking about small incremental adjustments to an existing plan of action, meaning like you've got a set amount of dollars that you're going to spend. So we're looking at item per item, the additional benefit that will be given. And what people do is they make decisions by comparing the costs and benefits at the margin with each additional unit. And a rational person will purchase more if the additional benefit is greater than the additional cost. It doesn't make sense to purchase more when the additional cost is greater than the additional benefit. But not only do rational people think at the margin, but businesses also think at the margin. And so when we're looking at it from an economic perspective, a business makes its decisions to employ more of a resource when the marginal benefit, again, is greater than the marginal cost. So you can apply this to consumers. You can apply this to businesses. We're looking at it at all different things of 
thinking on the margin. 